Hello everybody, Ninja Toothpick, and welcome back to the Dojo. Today we're here with uh, more The Crooked Man, Part 6. I'm literally doing this two seconds after the last one, because this is not savable. So I have to do it now so you guys can see this dialogue. Uh, the reason I didn't record me killing him is because I literally did it randomly. I was trying forever, forever. Oh my god. I, had, I counted how many hits it had to take in some videos that I went to watch to see how to beat him. I had to hit him that many times, and then he won. I was like, fuck, I didn't get to record that. So now I'm here. But anyway, let's go. So I just ran out of there, and since he's here, David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not hurt, but... God, she hit her knees. Sissy? What's wrong, are you sick? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him. It's because I'm such a wimp. Is that why this happened? Can... Can I not leave... Um, love him, not eat it. I don't know. No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. Yes, we have the box. Make her feel better. Please don't cry. Why would you tell you what's wrong with being a wimp? It may be tough, but you have to move on. Sorry, I didn't read that dialogue. I know that... I, you know that, don't you? You can't keep on going like this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday. So please, don't cry. You won't even let me cry? There's really nothing I can do? This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry, I was selfish. I know better than anything that I can't keep going like this. Okay. <laughs> I can't keep st um, stewing over it. I, I need to forget him. Yeah. Okay. You had to break the box and scare me? Okay, thanks. It's a precious memory, but I don't need it anymore, do I? Well, it's kind of already broke, so you should have decided that beforehand. I'll be going now. Sorry I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you're looking for. Yeah, thanks, sissy. Be well. Be well. <coughs> Holy shit. Huh? <laughs> That is horrifying! Hey, open up! Sissy! Damn it, stop it, stop it right now! Don't so much as touch her! Open this door! Jesus Christ, that is disturbing! Din one, what a sissy. What? Here. Okay, never mind. I'm back. It turns out I chose the wrong fucking choice, and that's why they died. Okay, fuck you, game. Screw me for trying to be the nice guy. I'm like, oh, please don't cry. Please don't cry at all. No, I'm supposed to fucking say, oh, what's wrong with being a sissy, you bitch? Or some shit like that. Fuck you, game. I'm trying to be a nice guy here. Okay? I'm a nice guy. I don't tell girls, oh, you're, you're being a sissy. Yeah, God. Really? That was disturbing. At least I got to see both endings, and at least you guys both got to see both of the things out of the outcome. Because, dude, he fucking killed her, and I didn't expect it. God. God, really? What's wrong with being a wimp? 
What's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may you may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David. Or David? I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You, too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I, I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married. And it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think. Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same thing of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. Damn it, I wanted these two together. I was shipping them. <laughs> this is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It's it, it's be a, a shame. It's be a shame to throw it away. Nice typo. <laughs> Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Don't you open door, I'm serious. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Don't you dare open door. Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs key to open, so I thought I didn't... Though I didn't lock it. A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key... Nah, of course not. Oh, yes! That's the one! Where did you find it? What? Really? Er, I picked it up around here. That's the brass key from my apartment. A key from your house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here. So I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. Does she not realize that it's her boyfriend? I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, and thanks, though, David. Well... Cooking man just fucking rips her head off. He comes out of the bushes. <laughs> okay. Random kiss. I'm really th thankful, David. Hey, look at that creepy ass face in the background. That's weird. Let's see each other again sometime. Oh, see? Yes! I shipped them! And it worked, I think! I hope. That surprised me. <laughs> yeah, you bashful little bastard. But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I see him, I'll go anywhere. This all started by you want to ask him about poltergeist shit going on in your house. And then you have to come there and fight the crooked man, who I think was him. I'm literally thinking it was the boyfriend. And then Sissy and you were too stupid to realize that her boyfriend was the guy in your house. So... Yeah, if you compare the rest of them, then you're an idiot. All right, Hotel Runeheim. I don't know. Sissy, end. All right, I'll save, and I'll save, and then... Boop. Car noises! Man, this place was far. That took almost a day. I mean, all day. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around, though. I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. I don't want it. It's a creepy school. This just got a whole new level of creepy. But, guys, since I had that whole ordeal, I think this is a good place to cut this one for real this time. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button to be a ninja. Because remember, everyone needs to be a ninja. 
Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, I will see you later. <laughs>